What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, so if you haven't seen my video on how to make biochar, you can check that out. Um, but let's say you just don't want to make it. Can you buy it somewhere? Can you get it cheap for that matter? Well, that's what this video is going to be about. All right. So if you got a Dollar General near you, which if you live in the USA, pretty sure you probably do. Uh, seems to be one on every corner, almost as much as a freaking Starbucks. But anyways, um, let me show you this product that you can use to make your own biochar. So here it is, some Royal Oak 100% natural hardwood lump charcoal. Because pretty much, uh, basically, that, that's what it is. That's what you're using when you make biochar or, you know, when I made my own. It's basically what you're doing. You're putting wood or wood shavings or anything that was living basically into a super low oxygen environment. So that way it will uh, it won't burn all the way up and turn into ash. So let's take a look here. I actually bought this to do some grilling with, but then I was like, you know what? So here it is. I mean, it looks basically like what I made. You'll see it's easy to break. It's super dry and brittle. So we're going to take this because we don't want these pieces this big and we're going to break them up. Let me show you how we do that. Got my bucket here. Now I'm going to take this charcoal. I'm going to dump it in the bucket. So I don't know if you see all those dust particulates there. It's probably not a good thing to breathe those in. So if you want to wear a mask, um, this would actually be an opportunity to wear a mask that it would be beneficial because uh, those dust particulates are large enough that um, the mask will actually stop them. All right, so let's keep going here a little bit. I'm just going to put some in and then I'll back up because I don't feel like putting my mask on currently. So we got them in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a stick. You can grab a big one like that or a smaller one like this, whatever you want to do. I'm going to use the big one. Kind of be a nice little workout at the same time. And we're going to crunch, crunch <laughs> these pieces of charcoal up. As you can see, this is making quite a bit of dust. So like I said, I mean, it's nice and windy enough out here. It's blowing it away from me. But if you were in a environment that it wasn't doing that and you were just sucking all that in, like I said, you may want to put a mask on. Your choice. I am not a medical professional, so, you know, but then again, <laughs> Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> Trust him if you want. Let's see. All right, so it's starting to break up pretty good. Getting them into these, you know, smaller pieces like this. It's kind of what we're looking for right here. Maybe a little smaller. But uh, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to keep busting these up. And then I'm going to put them into a solution to activate them or inoculate them or colonize them whatever you want to call it because just like i said in the last video you don't want to take this and put it straight into your soil because it will absorb everything good out of it and then um your soil probably will will be in worse shape than it was before you put it in for you know anywhere up to a year year and a half even so we don't want to do that so what I'm doing here is I went ahead and what I had in the bucket, I dumped in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick these bigger pieces out. I'm gonna throw them back in and crunch them up some more just to get them down to, you know, smaller sizes like what I would like to have. I hope I'm not in the way of the camera currently. If I am, I apologize. So from time to time, you're going to find pieces like this in there. And even when you make your own, this happens too. This is stuff that just did not, uh, didn't get enough of the moisture out. It's not burned down enough. So we are not going to use this in our biochar. 
this is what I got. That was about a half a bag of that charcoal. And as you can see, got it all nice and broke up into these pieces. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some of my spring water in here. Then I'm going to put some whatever green I can find lying around as green stuff starting to pop up out of the ground now. I'm going to put some coffee grounds in there. And then, of course, I'm going to pee in there because when the process of doing this, when it does, is it actually will suck all the nitrogen out of the wood. So what's one of the best sources of nitrogen? Well, if you guessed pee, you'd be right. So we're going to do that. Um, and for those of you that don't use uh, urine, I know there's people out there that are into urine therapy. That is not my cup of tea. Not drinking it, but I will put it into the water that I put on my plants. I'll put it into the charcoal that I'm making biochar out of. Now, of course, if I'm using it in the water, I'm not gonna put it on things that I'm gonna eat right away, like lettuce or something like that. But plants that are gonna be in the ground for a lot longer, sure, I'll use it. Uh, and if I do use it on lettuce, um, I will stop at least two weeks prior to consuming it. So there's that. What I've done is I went ahead and I split the uh, charcoal into two separate tubs because uh, what I had in that bag, once I added the water, it was overflowing. So now I've already got the coffee grounds in there. And look at this, look at all this green. So a week ago when I did that one, basically the only green I could find was holly leaves and the occasional little piece of grass that was popping up. And look at this. I mean, this stuff is everywhere a week later. Crazy how that works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put some in here, and actually I'm gonna put some in the original one I made. I mean, why not? All of this will break down, and then, like I said before, I'm still gonna make some of that swamp water. So whatever I have left over, or I'll just go get some more because there's so much of it everywhere. Go ahead and put all this in there. So I got green and then basically what will happen is this will break down and it'll basically become like a compost tea in there with the biochar and then the biochar or the charcoal that will become biochar will absorb all this green and that's what makes it biochar. So I got that and then I'm also gonna add some Himalayan pink salt in there because it is full of all of the minerals um, that you got in your ocean water. And I guess, well, this is Himalayan, so I imagine in the mountains, but I didn't put any in this first one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't really know how much. I just put a little bit of both in, or two. I'm putting two tablespoons in each bucket. So. They now have coffee grounds, they have some green, they have some Himalayan pink salt. This one has some urine. These don't yet, but they will. And then what I'll do is just like with that one, we'll take and get that, get that all down, pushed down in there, into the water. So that way it will help break it down. And then I don't know if you saw the difference before I did it, but as you can see here, this is how you can tell too, but all of this is still floating on the top. Whereas this, you'll see, it's not really floating as much anymore. It's starting to absorb that water and all that goodness as it gets ready. Because like I said, this has been in here a week now. This is the stuff I made myself. And then this, of course, is brand new, as you see there. Now I might need a little more water. All right, so hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to make your own biochar on the super cheap because you don't feel like making it yourself or maybe you just don't have the ability to start a fire and to do all that, um, maybe you're in an apartment. I don't know. You just want to do something in your potted plants or maybe you just need enough for some raised beds. Then I recommend going to Dollar General or anywhere else you can find that 100% um, hardwood or wood charcoal and make it yourself. Peace.